Welcome to Tech Results with Amir. In this video, we are going to look into one of the very uh, kind of important tip uh, how we can find out uh, when our Windows service was uh, started or uh, restarted. Uh, so there are tons of Windows services uh, that are running on a machine. So in my case, let's say it's a SQL Server or any other services are running and I would like to find out uh, when it was uh, started. Uh, so first of all, uh, what you need to do, you need to go on the sir, uh, run and uh, so you can go to search and then type uh, services uh, once you type services uh, it's going to open uh, uh, all the services here okay now uh, you're going to see services which are running on this machine and uh, i'm going to find a couple of services let's say i would like to find integration services uh, so integration runtime service uh, so this is a service uh, uh, that's running on my machine and i'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe stop or restart so let's go ahead and restart it and uh, see then we will go back and try to figure out when it was uh, restarted um, let me find another uh, service uh, and uh, let's let this finish first uh, and then we are going to go for the next one i'm going to try to restart my sql server service as well uh, so i'm going to go to the microsoft sql server and uh, if uh, you are here so let's find microsoft and where is my sql server it's very hard to find sometime when you are making a video so, so let me type uh, sql if uh, that helps so sql okay so i'm not seeing uh, right here okay fine so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, restart this uh, service as well now first of all uh, what we would like to do we would like to open cmd and uh, then we are gonna find uh, when these two services were started up now if i go to the integration services here that's uh, where we started right so let me go back here and uh, type uh, i'm hitting i and it is bringing me to the integration server uh, runtime service um, so double click on that one and see right here that's our service name so this is the service name uh, don't worry about the display name we are not going to do anything with the display name so this is my service name so first of all as uh, you were able to see my notes uh, and uh, what we have to do we have to open a cmd and run this command uh, with this uh, service name so I'm gonna just make a copy right here and uh, then uh, let's change and uh, let's go to service again and double click here I'm gonna right click here copy and bring back to the this uh, part here okay so we are gonna copy this uh, and open uh, CMD I'm gonna go to the CMD and uh, you can go to run and uh, type CMD it's gonna open a, a command line for you and uh, you can right click here and then it will paste that uh, query so it's uh, gonna bring us the PID of uh, this uh, service uh, so see right here is uh, this is the process ID 31796 um, uh, so that's the PID so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, place uh, right here so 31769 31769 so that's the query we have to run now this query it need to be run on the PowerShell so I already have a open PowerShell you can go ahead and go to search and then type PowerShell and once the PowerShell window open you can right click and run as admin it is important to run that as admin otherwise you might not get the information now we are going to paste that query and they see we had uh, placed the PID that we got from the first query that we run on, ran on a CMD. Now we are going to hit enter and uh, that should do it. So let's uh, do it here. Right there. Okay. So you can see that uh, this uh, service was started at 8 o'clock and uh, on 37 minutes and 03 seconds um, so that's exactly the time i restarted the service and now let's go ahead and find out this about the sql server so remember that uh, we also started our sql server microsoft sql server let me find out so here is our sql server and uh, that's our service name so i'm going to copy this guy copy go to the notepad plus plus here i'm going to change that and uh, uh, you should be all good here copy so this was uh, started after our integration uh, um, that uh, integration runtime right uh, I'm gonna click here the PID of this is 30684 so okay so that should be it uh, let me see let me double verify again 6, uh, eight, four, six eight, four, sorry 
Okay, so I'm going to take this guy and uh, run this uh, in the PowerShell, open in PowerShell here. And uh, if you see that, uh, uh, that's the first uh, service uh, that was started. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, run it. Now you can see that uh, we started the SQL Server service after the first service. So first service was started at 03 seconds and this was started after that, so 37 seconds. So this is very easy and very helpful to know or get when your service was started last time. So thank you very much for watching and I will put these commands in my description so you can take from there and make use of them. I appreciate Please go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.